let's see. King of Random sign. Grant's official lab coat and t-shirt. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Ah. Hey, what's up guys? Here we have second generation. This is Jamin Thompson, Grant's son. Before we get started today, I want to address the elephant in the room. Lately, the King of Random channel has been producing a lot of content which has been significantly off-brand. And many of you have noticed. Back many grants ago, I helped Grant build his very first metal foundry, which ultimately led to the creation of several of his metal videos that many of you have loved. And today, we're gonna launch right into another one of those projects. Today, I have with me Grant's trusted assistant, Jamin, and he's gonna help me with this project. And Jamin, at the end of this project, we're gonna make something really cool that you can keep. Dice? All right, who gave this guy the script? We're gonna do a fun little experiment with aluminum. Aluminum, as you might know, melts just over 1200 degrees, but it's forgeable. You can take a hammer and smith it into different shapes and you can do a lot of really cool things with aluminum. But the temperature range at which you go from forging to melting is very limited. And so there's a really cool spot in there where you can hit it and it literally shatters into its fibrous nature and you can see all the crystals on the inside. It's a fascinating project. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that today. So here's what you'll need. You'll need to start out with some aluminum. Jamin's got our aluminum. I've got a forge right over here that we're gonna kick on so we can get our heat. And then we've got any hard metal surface will do. You don't have to have an anvil like this. Railroad track or I-beam or really anything you can find. A hard rock that's reasonably flat will also do the job. And then a hammer just to do the smashing. That's the fun part and you're gonna see. All right, so I've got my propane tank on, but the gas is off at the valve here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and light my lighter and then slowly open the valve. Oh my God. Woo -hoo. There we go. Oh, it is, it's very warm, yeah. So should I put it in? So yeah, you're gonna put that in. Put that in, in, and just slide it so that the end is right under that jet. That's perfect. And we're just gonna leave it right there. You wanna come on this side of it so you can see better? So aluminum does glow, but it glows so lightly that in these normal light spectrums here that we have, you're not gonna be able to see it with your eyes unless we put it into the shadow. Now I've got this wooden block here. Aluminum is forgeable when you can rub the wood on it and it leaves a black mark. So it instantly chars the wood and it leaves a little black mark on the metal. All right, so there's one more thing we're looking for here. I explained about the black mark. That lets you know it's ready to forge. But what needs to happen for our experiment today is we need to get it to a heat that when I put the black mark on it, it instantly vaporizes. And so I'll put the black mark on and it'll burn right off. And that's the heat that we need in order to do what we're doing today. Ooh, it's close. It's getting very close. All right, perfect. So what's about to happen is we're gonna take the aluminum out of the heat and we're gonna smash it nice and hard right here on the anvil. And when that occurs, it's going to break apart and it's gonna look like an explosion. It's gonna be basically like the rings of Saturn just shooting out this way. If you wanna replicate this project at home, just be sure there is nothing on the ground that's gonna catch fire, nothing that's gonna melt, and your cat is out of the way. So let's talk a little bit of safety. In a project like this, you always wanna make sure you protect your eyes. So we've got our face shields here. Now he's got a leather apron on. I am not wearing a leather apron, you've probably noticed. Now when this explodes, there's definitely gonna blow some hot aluminum all over me, but it's not melted, it's not gonna dig into my clothes, and it's not a temperature that I'm really worried about. You can kind of brush it off your clothes really quick, and you're gonna be safe with that. So, let's get going. Okay, here we go. There we go. <laughs> Now remember, you can't see the heat in the aluminum. It's still very hot. It also, the heat travels down. And so I'm not gonna touch it even right here. I kinda feel that heat coming off of it. You gotta have a pretty long bar in order to be able to hold it just with your bare hands. Yeah, I can kind you feel of that? heat, yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, we have been smashing a lot of aluminum today. And it's a really, really fun thing if you wanna take a bunch of this stuff and cast it. Since someone told him about the dice, I'm gonna go ahead and make it. He's stepped out, he's eaten some dinner, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a really cool die for him. So the die that I wanna make is actually gonna be bigger than the material that I'm working with. So I'm just gonna cut off a section, 
and I'm gonna do a process called upsetting, which means that the final dimension of the material that I have is gonna be larger than what I started with. And I'm just gonna start pushing it down into itself. I don't wanna to go too far too fast. I'm flipping it over so that I can do the same kind of work on each side. Because as I hit the top of it with the hammer, it's changing its dimension, and as the anvil hits back on the bottom, it's also changing its dimension, but not exactly the same. And we don't want to push it too far out of its temperature range, but if you look, it's already starting to give you an hourglass figure. And so we're gonna smash that all the way down, and then we're gonna bring it out in different dimensions and make a cube out of it. Okay, so if you want to see the full video on how to forge a die out of aluminum or any other material really, make sure you let us know in the comments and we will provide that for you.